To make a quartile diagram, we need to know five key values. The minimum, Q1, Q2, Q3, and the maximum. The easiest ones to find are the minimum and the maximum, so we will find those first. The minimum is the lowest number in the set of data. In this case, that's 43. And the maximum is the highest number in the set of data, which in this case is 92. Q2 is the median of our data, so we have to use the median formula. n plus 1 over 2, in this case, is equal to 34 plus 1 over 2, because there are 34 grades in this chemistry class. 34 plus 1, of course, is 35, and 35 divided by 2 is 17.5. Our median is the average of the 17th and 18th values in this set of data. The 17th value is this 69, and the 18th value is this 71. And we average 69 and 71, and we get a Q2 of 70. Our median is 70. Q1 is the median of the first half of the data, which is this top row of numbers here. We do the median formula again, and n plus 1 over 2 in that case is 17 plus 1 over 2 because there are 17 numbers in that top row. 17 plus 1, of course, is 18, and 18 to, divided by 2 is 9. So, the ninth value will be our Q1. The ninth value, if I count from the bottom, is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. It's this first of the 61s. So our Q1 is 61. We can use the same formula over again to find the, media of the median of the second half of the data, which is this bottom line. It's still 17 values, and 17 plus 1 over 2 still gives us 18 over 2, the ninth value. So counting, we get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. This last of the 79s is our ninth value. Q3 is therefore 79. Now we're ready to start drawing our diagram. The first thing we need is a title, and I'm going to call it Chemistry Grades. Next we need to get a ruler, and draw our x-axis. I have prepared an x-axis, which is already graduated. I choose to make a 10 centimeter long line and graduate it by tens. Now we have to build our box and whisker plot. We need to put little dashes uh, above the x-axis at all of these values, the min, the q1, the q2, the q3, and the 92, the max of 92. So I build these dashes, and I place them at 43, 61, 70, 79, and 92. And that's where they are now. Now all I have to do is connect them with my boxes and my whiskers. This is the first whisker. It connects 43 with 61. And now I'm going to build my box connecting 61 through 70 to 79 and then I put my other whisker which goes from 79 to 92. The only thing left is to put a label for my x-axis and the label I choose is grade in percent. My box and whisker diagram is complete. Remember, the box and whisker diagram is also known as the quartile diagram. So if you're asked for a quartile diagram in your exam, this is what they want. 